Hallelujah. I was telling you some message. I want to repeat. If I have the grace to say the three, I'll say it. If it is one, next, the immediate one is uh, the great nation. Okay, we have, uh, 10 days ago I was in the vision. They were telling me that at that 10 days ago, it was man that would have won the election. The Lord said, narrowly, there's a state that enormously you know, 99% vote for this woman. And the woman, the woman, narrow win. But I saw her facing several challenges over many issues. The Congress will be on her neck, including passing the bill. It will be, will be disturbed his regimes. It will not start now, but by February, you start see the attempt to possibly pass a vote just to this, just mm -hmm, the voice of no covenant on the new. The vote of the new president will be rocked. That when the vote is rocked, okay, next Sunday we continue. I will not say more than that. Okay, the reason why I'm saying this is there's a lot of vision, prophecy on the internet. Many men ago, a lot they have been saying. But this is what I saw 10 days ago. But the men of God that were saying opposite, maybe probably they saw it 15 days ago. When you saw this vision 15 days ago, you saw a man narrow leading. But at 10 days ago, narrowly, because of his stay, to stay, that hugely come together. During a live Saturday service at the Synagogue Church of All Nations on March 15, 2014, Prophet TB Joshua revealed a prophetic message regarding the missing Malaysian plane. These were his words. There's a big controversy going on in the world concerning Malaysia plane. They don't know where the plane is. Long time I say that you look down the deep sea I think they are going to the deep sea, trying to see. What sea? They did not ask which kind of sea are we talking about. Yes, there is a controversy everywhere. I said deep sea, long time. Yes, between the sea of Indonesia and the Indian Ocean. <laughs> Why I say between? Because the particle has gone swimming everywhere. It entered and it was seized by object down sea. There is no way the thing could come up the sea until the thing becoming decay. When it becomes decay and becoming particles, little, little body come on the sea. But the whole thing is coming to an end. Coming to an end in the sense that they will discover the particle, everything will be on end. During the following live Sunday service at the Synagogue Church of All Nations on March 23, 2014, Prophet T.B. Joshua prophesied further regarding the missing Malaysian plane. These were his words. Last Saturday here I was telling you about the challenges the war are facing in Malaysia. Saturday here I said they should look into India Ocean the thing I saw was floating on the sea, which is hand of the plane. But you don't believe, you believe which doctor more than even when the servant of God is talking. When something is on the water floating, can you imagine this thing also in a day can travel another mile if you are not going there to pick the thing? And which is very close, but the whole thing is between India Ocean and the Indonesia. But the war are continuing to parade in roaming about. What does it take the war? If somebody says something is in the Indian Ocean stroke Indonesia, what does it take? 
if a telephone call, email, can you tell the location where? Or enter the place, let us go there. On the air, you can say, go down here. It doesn't take anything. I mean, what? If somebody is talking and you don't understand the person, who is the person? Go look at the antecedent of the person, the track record of the person on the web. Oh, who is this T.B. Joshua? You will see right from the beginning of my ministry, it's a gift of God. Both local, international, right from 25 years now. Where, thank God, they are on that India Ocean. It's there. The whole thing is, is dragging. The thing I saw was floating on the sea, which is hand of the plane. On April 12, 2014, during a live Saturday service at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Prophet T.B. Joshua prophesied yet again regarding the missing Malaysian plane. These were his words. Remember what I said last time about this Malaysia issue. And I said, India Ocean, deep. I can still see some, but they refuse to go there. For every hour in India Ocean, the ocean is, you know, the weather is very bad. If something is on top, and you're not going there in an hour, you'll find it in 40 miles again. The whole thing is inside the deep. It's like something here, the whole thing, deep, 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 deep. But Last time when I say, yes, you will see some this day on the top, of the, but people, they don't take it. I'm still saying it. If you cannot go deep, go to the choice. You will see some of the fat, evident, bags, luggage. When you open it, you just see some ID card to confirm that these people were inside that plane. Go to the choice. It has gone to the choice now where he cannot move any longer. Choice me, edge, but tip for it, bush side, but towards West India Ocean. The whole thing is deep sea, but some little particle of it, pieces of it, have escaped like bag, luggage. We pray for the loved one that this consign because their wound is our wound. Every day we pray for the family, we pray for the friend, we pray for the nation of Malaysia, we pray for the whole world. So it's a gift of God, there's nothing I can do. If you are in my position to, when you see something, you have to say it. If you don't say it, the gift will remain dormant. Even if God sends you, say, this is what is going to happen, and you are not saying it, he will not send you next time. That is just it. All right, breaking news, a major development in the search for the missing Malaysia Airlines flight MH370, a piece of debris recovered on an island in the western Indian Ocean, thousands of miles from the search zone. It does appear to be from a Boeing 777. CNN's Tom Foreman has more now on how officials can, can figure out if it is, in fact, from the missing Malaysian jet. This piece of debris is about seven feet long, maybe three or four feet wide, and we're now told it is consistent with what you would find on a 777 made by Boeing. So let's bring up a model of the missing plane and talk about where you would find it on the plane. Our aviation analysts say it would likely be on the back side of the left wing, right in here, a controlling flapper on, as they call it. So it meets the first part of the test for a match. It is the right type of piece to find. It's also the right color and it's in the right condition. It has barnacles all over it. That's consistent with something that's been in the water for 500 days, roughly. Now you have to check out the identifiers, the serial numbers on this piece. Almost every part of a big aircraft like this has serial numbers on it, like this seat cushion from a different plane. If they find the serial number on this other part, this thing they just found. So watching this video, it looks like his prophecy came to pass. But the truth is, the video was edited. He took out important details that do not match the event. In the original video, he said, the crash will happen few meters from the airport. The problem will be known. Now let's watch the original video to back this up. Now I'm seeing this, I don't know whether it's weather, this is purely weather we have to pray. This is Asia country. God showed me the country, but if I mention the country now, will anybody enter the plane there again? Eh? The airline there, I will be in trouble. They said this man have granted our airline. 
because you mentioned our country. I will not mention any country, but God showed me the country. I'm seeing a very big balloon. And what is the cause of this? Just about to take off, and it first started. And just a few meters to, to the, air, uh, the airport, where they took off, the crash, the, 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 the crash happened. It means they can discover it at the tarmac, but because impatience. I will personally, when I get to home, if God give me the grace, I will send a letter to the embassy of the country. Check your airline in your country. But it's going to be who, two, almost 200 people inside. Just from the tarmac, the, the takeoff, just few, the incident happened. It means what happened here is the fault of impatient, because there are many things they need to look into before they take off but they are unable. So it's not anything that uh, they say they don't know the call, no. Because it's... Yes. What is the cause? 200 people inside the plane. But this is Asia country. This is Asia country. So we are going to pray for them. And I, when I leave the service, to see what I can do to send a, a letter to the embassy and let them know that this is what any 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 airline, any plane in the tarmac, they should make sure before it moves. Take a quick decision, take note, so that they can avoid this. There. It says, the crash will happen not far from the airport, few meters from the airport. And then the problem will be known. But the reality is, the plane was never found. And the problem is not known. There is a 60 minute, the whole one hour documentary that discusses flight, the disappearance of flight MH370. You can find it on this URL here. This is a failed prophecy by TB Joshua. The crash didn't happen a few meters from the airport. It is not known what happened to the Apple. During the Synagogue Church of All Nations live Sunday service, Prophet T.B. Joshua prophesied that a very heavy flood was going to occur in an Asian country. He said that residents there should be ready to carry their property as the rain was already warming up. These were his words. I'm seeing a very big, heavy flood. I know the CNN will give the event a new name when it happened. There will be name given for it because it's a big time situation. There will be very, very serious rain. I'm seeing a big rain. This will happen in the Asia country and it will carry a lot of houses, property, human beings. The rain is warming up. It's not just rain, but it is a spirit that comes from the sea. And it will carry property and a human being. Very close now, very close, so that people can, can, can be prepared. People there should be ready to carry the necessary thing out of the, their house when it is started. So we are praying for God's mercy and God's favor. God loves us. Pray for the nation, this nation that will face this uh, uh, storm that will take over part of the city. So the Lord should rescue this country. In confirmation of the prophetic message, in November 2013, Typhoon Haiyan crashed into the Asian nation, the Philippines, destroying houses, property, and human beings. Let us watch the report. This is CNN Breaking News. 
And welcome to CNN Newsroom. I'm Natalie Allen. Our top story, of course, is the storm that wrecked the Philippines. People there are struggling in the aftermath of Typhoon Haiyan, possibly the strongest storm to make landfall in recorded history. These are pictures from Tacloban City, which is believed to be one of the worst hit areas. The mayor there says it's entirely possible as many as 10,000 people have been killed in Leyte province alone. The governor of Leyte echoes that, citing reports from local governments across the province. The storm also left a path of devastation in other parts of the country. Electricity and phone lines are still out in many areas, and the true extent of damage is still unclear because we just haven't heard from all of those areas. There you go. Now the question is, which disaster actually did this man predict? Can you see that this is very confusing now? Now let's analyze. In TV Joshua and Emmanuel TV's own words, we are told this will happen in an Asian country. I want to trace the country. It will disturb this city. I am seeing a country I am. Pray for the nation this nation that will face the storm that will take part of the city so the lord should rescue this country an asian country starting with the letters i n in confirmation a very serious flood occurred in asian country indonesia now this is very 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 clear that it is one event in one country so why does TV Joshua recycle the same prophecy video to claim that he predicted the one disaster in the Philippines as well? And you see that this is dishonest, deceptive, and it's distasteful. TB Joshua here is more concerned about building his reputation, even if it means lying about prophecy to his audience. And by the way, the flood in Indonesia, there's a detail he got wrong also. He said, I know CNN will give the event a new name when it happens. There will be a name given to it because it is a big time situation. You know when there's a disaster like Hurricane Katrina, it's given that name. Uh, Hurricane Katrina or now in this instance with the Philippines, it's Typhoon Haiyan. But as far as we know, the Indonesia flood was never given a name. So that suggests that TB Joshua got this one wrong also. It's a failed prophecy here as well by TB Joshua. Hallelujah. Today we shall look at the marks of a genuine pastor, prophet, evangelist, I mean servant of God. Let's quickly look at the book of Deuteronomy 18. Take a look at verse 21, 22. Hallelujah. If you say in your heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord has spoken? That is, is it T.B. Joshua that is speaking or is speaking the words of God? Verse 22, when a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, take note of that. When a pastor speaks in the name of the Lord, verse 22, when evangelists speak in the name of the Lord, when a servant of God born again, a Christian speak in the name of the Lord, if the thing does not happen or come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord has not spoken. A genuine servant will speak in the name of the law accurately unless i'm not called by god yeah. 
I, 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 I place my career and my calling on the on land that these 200 and plus children, school children, guess they kidnapped. They have to release immediately. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. Three months later, more than 200 girls still remain in captivity. But the Bring Back Our Girls campaign is still hopeful that the girls would be rescued and returned back home safely. The girls were abducted from their boarding school in the northeastern town of Chibok in Borno State on April 14. There you go. Another failed prophecy. You listened to my message last year that this is fearful, very, very fearful. And I came out at the beginning of this year, yes, to say last year will end March. And the year will continue to be very, very, very fearful. Till this month, this month 27, it will be over. By the end of this month, whether we like it or not, no matter medicine they matter producing, your cure, whatever, it will go the way it come. Yeah. If, if it is not medicine that brought this to the war, medicine cannot take it out. It will go the way it 